So big driver head-to-head -head battle in this video. We've got the brand new Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke driver up against last year's version, the Triple Diamond Paradigm. So two Triple Diamonds, head-to-head -head battle. Let's see which one comes out on top. Two Triple Diamonds from Callaway. I'm gonna use exactly the same shaft, which is my new review shaft, which I'm gonna use in all my reviews, all my comparisons. And it's the Ventus from Fujikura, the TR Blue 6 in an X. Same grip as well, which is the Golf Pride MCC Plus 4 midsize. So we're gonna start off with the Paradigm. Got it set at nine degree, nine degree head set at nine degree. I've got the heavy weight in the back of the golf club, so I'm making it its more forgiving option. I'm gonna do exactly the same in the smoke, so very direct comparison. So let's get some numbers with last year's 2023 Paradigm Triple Diamond. So obviously Paradigm was hugely popular last year. Personally, I was a massive fan of it, if I'm being brutally honest, but obviously it has been extremely popular on tour and with many uh, obviously amateur golfers. We've got that navy top, we've got that first time of this 360 carbon head, which was quite different from obviously from other brands. And, you know, and with the smoke coming along now, it's just refined all that a little bit more. 15% lighter in the smoke, so they're saving a little bit more weight yet again and redistributing it, making a little bit more forgiveness. which is definitely something I want to have a little look at in this video against the two in terms of my personal feedback of the looks, the feel, the sound, and also that forgiveness as well as the numbers. It's a good solid hit. Very nice sound to that good feel. And obviously with the triple diamond, it tends to sit extremely square, if anything, slightly open in that address position. That was the best one so far, just touching over that 300 yard marker. That's an absolute bomber, just to finish off with the Paradigm. So push comments down below. If you've got a Paradigm drive and you've got that this year and you're enjoying it, let me know in the comments below and maybe see what you think of the new AI smoke from Callaway. Right, so switching the Ventus shaft now over into the new Paradigm AI smoke from Callaway. Again, triple diamond, nine degree head, set at nine degree with that heavy weight positioned at the back. So identical to what we've just looked at with the Paradigm. And first of all, I'm just going to do some comparisons of look between these two golf clubs. So obviously on the sole of the golf club now, we can see that weight on the original Paradigm is positioned on the back edge of that uh, golf club, where now in the smoke, it's actually on the sole, but again, it is at the back. Obviously there's a cosmetic difference and I really like the new smoke one. I quite, it's a very funky sort of finish on it. And obviously this is part of the golf club we're just not going to see. You'll either like that or you won't like it. I really like that, to be honest, that lighter sort of colour. Flipping it over into that playing position and obviously very different again on the top, on the top of the golf club. And again, I'm a big fan of the smoke. I love that carbon. It just looks quality at the top where the navy and the grey maybe just was too close to colour. I quite like that contrast there. So it's a, we've got a lighter grey front section there, lighter face and with some noticeable sort of white etching of the grooves on the actual club face itself, which makes you see the loft a little bit more, which I think it gives you a little bit of that confidence inspiring look. Whereas before it was sort of so blacked out or darked out, you didn't really sort of see the face so much. So I think a little bit of a better appearance for me personally between those two golf clubs. Oh, that's a nice one to start off with. Now for me, I think just initial, I've, I've been using the smoke for a little bit to be honest and I've have actually taken it out of the golf course and I've really, really enjoyed it. And for me, I think just for the difference between those two, it just feels a little bit more responsive off the club face. Maybe not quite as dull or as maybe as, I'm going to use the word numb feeling in a way. Um, it just feels like you get a little bit more feel off the actual club itself. Okay, and I think that is a really good example. That was a little bit of a high toe strike with that. And look at the distance that achieves. The ball speed's really good from that slight miss hit. And that's definitely something I've found with the smoke. I hit a couple out on the golf course. I actually took this to Turkey before Christmas last year when I first received my sample. And I hit a couple, I thought, oh no. As soon as you hit that shot, you're thinking, oh, I've lost that. And it just really held its line quite nicely. So I think this is really, really stable. As I say, that carbon now, that 360 wrap, it's saving 15%, uh, I think, of, of weight now, which is huge, isn't it? So the repositioning and that in a different part, and, and they're saying it's more forgiving. And I definitely feel that as well. And sometimes the triple diamond scares a lot of golfers because it's that tall player's sort of product in a way. But I think definitely, 
forgiveness levels are there. And obviously that backs up then really what they're doing with this club face. So we've got AI smart face now. So it's, it's taken from a quarter of a million real golfers data and impact positions. Uh, and with a, with, a, with a triple diamond, it's a little bit more of a centered strike pattern because typically the player who's going to go into this driver will be pretty consistent on the strikes. But just those little subtleties around that center like there, that slight high toe, slight low heel, etc just helps on trying to maintain that ball speed but i feel as well is a little bit more of an accuracy element to this as well but that feels superb it feels like i get some feedback through the golf club is it going to be any longer than the paradigm it's probably not is it you know we know nowadays you know new drivers the gains are minimal if any Nice, it's just a touch low in that club face there. That spin, be interesting to see, ball speed's pretty similar there. Spin might just go up a tiny bit, yeah, a little bit, hasn't it? So just dropping a tiny bit of distance. It's one of those shots on the golf course, you're not gonna absolutely max your distance when you hit that particular strike, but do you know what? It's down the fairway, isn't it? You know, that's the important thing. And that's where I feel like this just has a little bit of the edge over the previous one, just with that little bit, what I feel like, a little bit more forgiveness. stunning really like the feel sound off that club face really enjoying that okay let's quickly check a few numbers out between those two triple diamonds from Callaway so as you'll have noticed there the dispersion ring just winning it with the smoke there just getting a little bit of a tighter dispersion and then we'll just quickly look at the strike patterns on those uh, batch of shots with each one so this is last year's paradigm driver which was a pretty decent strike pattern just slightly up high sort of heel and then the smoke there, very, very similar pattern there between those two drivers. And then just obviously looking at the numbers there, so you see clubhead speed pretty much identical as you expect, same shaft, same length, everything like that. Ball speed wise, pretty identical as well, nothing really splitting it there. Smoke just came out a little bit lower, caught a couple there, you can see those launch just drops a little bit where I've just caught slightly lower on that club face, which obviously just pops that launch down a little bit and just throws a tiny bit more spin on. So the tiny bit more spin as an average, but I think if the strikes were all very, very identical, we'll probably see that spin very much in the same sort of area. Um, and obviously distance very much the same. So as I mentioned, we're not, I wasn't expecting to see some big gains or any gains really on that uh, distance side of things, but maybe just that forgiveness, that dispersion is probably the big talking point around that new AI smoke driver. Okay, so there we go, post comments down below. Let me know your thoughts between those two drivers. Are you Paradigm? Would you switch into the smoke? Are you gonna hang tight for maybe the next version that's gonna come along probably in early 2025? Post comments down as always. Appreciate you watching. Got lots more videos coming your way. Thanks very much, appreciate you watching us.